sometimes it's very hard to see, you know, there's that manure patch and this manure patch. So it's not until you really zoom in, it still looks like your normal manure patch, but right there, that, that is soil dug up by a dung beetle. And the dung beetle's hole is right there, right under there. There's the dung beetle's hole. So that is what you have to look for. And sometimes you can't see it because you don't know what to look for. So it's this granular stuff, this granular muck that brings up all the vitamins and minerals from the great depth when they dig that hole right there. And that's what you're looking for. And that's why you want dung beetles. But often you will miss that because you can't see it because you don't know what you're looking for. And it's that granular soil. There, you can see the difference. That's granular soil, that's manure. That's manure, that's granular soil. Is that right, Inca? You're very good at helping with the instructions. And the dung beetle hole is just right there. Right there. There's the hole. And we're going to leave that dung beetle alone, right Inca? Cover it up. Because we want to protect that from the woodcocks, the crows, the corvids, the snipe. Protect that so it will produce lots of minerals, bring it all up from deep in the ground. And see, then you look at this manure pile and there's no dung beetles on it yet. There's the little flies, and there's probably uh, flying dung beetles that don't dig the holes. And then there's this dung pile, and it has nothing in it. So, you just don't know. These are all my helpers. All snuffling around. And the sheep are all over there. And the sun is disappearing up there behind a bank of clouds that's going to come and rain on me in a minute.